Good day and salutations, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Together We Roll. Yeah, here we are. I finally... Hey. Oh, my phone! <laughs> audio. Yeah. <laughs> we are working on enhancing our audio beyond comparison. With a very handsome contribution with Brian over here. Handsome? Yeah, he's handsome and... That's a stretch. You got some assholes, but that's why you're at this table. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. I don't know why you're laughing. There's a joke in there somewhere. Someone will find it. Yeah, addressing reality. Sometimes, you know, anyway. Um, Someone will figure it out. Before we uh, get uh, back to the Orc of Cogs, Grim Milne, as my brain has a mental breakdown of, I don't know what's going on. Grim Milne! She's awesome. She does her artwork. She does everything in terms of coloring, drawing, sketching, planning, and being an awesome person in general. Um, actually, have we had an update yet? Or no? Well, uh, yeah. You know, we, we had a little bit of update, but we, we, have, have, we, we have, haven't put it on Coloring is in process. Yeah. Coloring is in process. Uh, but um, no, I haven't seen anything new yet other than uh, the yes, so I haven't, last week. Yes, I haven't seen anything <laughs> new yet. My bad. Uh, anyway. Uh, apart from that, uh, I think we are ready to go. Unless I'm Let's go do this. Art of Cogs. The Chamber of Cogs. Let's go, everyone. Ar Chamber of Cogs? Yeah. 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 Well, the Ark of Cog is the, is the actual thing that you were carrying. everyone i hope you enjoyed that intro i was a little loud on that pro uh, projection there <laughs> so a little bit of a game back into the mood let's Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all sorts of i'm sorry wrong uh, so wrong movie after emptying the arc of cogs and very expertly bumbling your way through this chamber of cogs in terms uh, in uh, hopes to reactivate the power uh, whatever power source that it has on the inside you've uh, met some clockwork soldiers swiftly take uh, taking care of them after they did some serious damage to certain parties of the member taking a short rest and staying on target a uh, target tongue, you did not divert from the path after finding the initial essentially what is a subway map Thanks uh, to a very good navigator and lockpicker. Absolutely. I have very few skills. <laughs> <laughs> As you bring out your three-page yes. resume on what, uh, what so, type of tool you want to use. When we have to find your way out. <laughs> <laughs> you found a conversion chamber, essentially. After walking through and finding various interesting effects that were happening but diverting them thanks to a very clever use to a uh, pocket hose essentially yeah mm -hmm. you went down this chamber after reactivating and, and finding some various fast learner clockwork soldiers that seem to adapt on the fly after seeing your effects in uh, fighter skins you fell for t literally 10 minutes in a featherfall chamber, as you uh, enter it even deeper and deeper into this construct madness of a clockwork device. And you found yourself in a similar room, somewhat um, 
circular and it's more of a, a oval, but it's a circular-ish room as you land a feet at the base with a room that has been completely filled with various bits of scrap, broken pieces of metal, uh, and uh, just a junkyard one, essentially. However, you were not able to think, uh, uh, given the proper time to think and investigate this room properly, as things started to move in the actual scrap yard itself. As you started to hone in on this target, so to speak. The sounds of whistles, the sound of high pressurized chambers and pistons moving as the boiler that had the fo warm fire cracking and seeing the building up pressure over the time. Legs started to form out of it as various uh, parts of different uh, components that are acting as uh, arms and mechanisms that are able to grab, snare, or completely just disembowel you as this giant boiler with legs stands up turns around with a high-pitched weighing sound, uh, pressurized uh, 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 gears and pipes and so on, as you see a almost like a piling, piling center, uh, somewhat at the chest of this very large-sized creature that's a good 10, 12 feet tall. Uh, and you see whatever this piling mechanism as it gives off a high-pitched weighing of speaking, as you see a cube-like thing in uh, in a cage uh, uh, center of this uh, uh, well, steam forge, essentially. Uh, nuzzle at the chest. Wait, it is living or there's something inside it? There's something inside it as you notice that there's someone in a what looks to be some sort of small little uh, pilot <laughs> tiny, uh, tiny that's pulling uh, various uh, uh, gears and pulley devices and levers that is currently controlling this apparatus of death. The men powered by a construct. And it begins to uh, give off from its rather disgusting looking uh, that you thought was metal, but then starts moving like thick leather that has lips and eyes and begins uh, uh, giving off Something's not right. Anyway, that gives off whistles, beeps, and high-pitched wanes that definitely is not organic in terms of speaking. And as soon as it gives off the final uh, note, a bunch of paper starts flying off into the right-hand side where that workstation was, a stream of paper with lines of ink across it as it's currently just sit, uh, standing there with its steam forged. Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> I'm backing away. Backing up. Uh, how tall is this thing? Like 12 feet tall. It makes me even short. Yeah. Uh, the actual apparatus that he's controlling is about 12 feet tall. It is basically a boiler with legs and additional uh, uh, arms that are attached to it. There's one sure. arm that is a little shorter that looks like it's able to jet out and has a power drill to it. There's another one that looks like it's a, almost like a stabbing device, but you see... Uh, another one of those uh, gear blades at the very tip of it that could swing along across a, a, a great velocity. You remind me of yourself. Followed by uh, two other arms underneath it that has various other uh, murdering weapons upon it that haven't really shown itself as it's more drawn into itself. <clears throat> uh, I'm pulling out my, my great axe design backing away. I have a quick question regarding my understanding of the constraints of one of my spells. Okay. Um, do I think Dragon's Breath would work on a plant? Oh, good question. that is a very good question. <laughs> like, it eats stuff. Like, it it, it has a Theoretically, mouth. as terms of D&D standards, it counts as a creature. Yeah. Okay. So, theoretically, like... Theoretically, yeah. yes. Okay. Sick and twisted. <laughs> But I like it. Yeah, like it it's conscious, intelligent. It gives off more of these whistling sounds. Uh, and it's, uh, again, a, a guttural grinding, almost like sound gears, and followed by more. Oh, guys, I and found more something. paper off the side of the works. Here. What's the going on with that paper? Well, normally my approach to these sort of situations is shoot first, shoot again, shoot some more, and then if anybody's left, try to ask a question too. But. The paper seems significant, and it's not attacking us. I concur. Uh, not yet. So I'm... I'm gonna look at the papers. 
Go and look at the papers. Walk over to the papers. It's right next to you at this point, essentially. We're... And almost like a, an old-fashioned printer, but in thicker parchment, it's a long stream of just constant paper with, like, every now and again holes on the side of it. Is it folding with relative uh, No, it does not have the folding. But it is a, just a constant stream of parchment, essentially. Regular parchment, that's the word. Yeah. And you see lines upon lines upon lines upon lines of wording, languages of various different types. What languages do you know? Common and Sylvan. Unfortunately, you don't know any of the languages that are written down here, but it's just like 10 plus languages. They don't know primordial? I mean... Is that really the question you need to ask right now? Okay, we got it. Why? I, I just have a hunch that that's probably one of the languages on the board. This... What? Okay. Heck, you, you are literally the only one who's freaking out here. Uh, yes, uh, because I don't want to, I don't like turtle soup, and that looks like it can make me into turtle soup. It takes a step forward. Make you into turtle soup. It make you into turtle fries at this point. All right, we're going to do some paper. So I'm just going to ignore the thing entirely. Just walk by it. All right, give me the paper. <laughs> <laughs> you rip off the uh, parts, right? And uh, you recognize two, actually. You recognize uh, the language Draconic and Inferno. I thought that might be. Yes. And it's actually the same thing written, just in different languages. Is, what is this thing doing? Is it just literally... It's currently manual? standing at attention. I hope it's a user manual. Speaking, <laughs> and seemingly uh, the pilot's eyes seem to be darting towards the paper. But it seems to be on guard. Okay. Read it. What's Okay. The first line that he first said, it says, Intruder, and it's like the... Basis of words. And I, I mean that in the most literal sense. It says intruder, peace, approach, and then the next line, why arise? No, well, let's know why we're here. Good question. Um, what language is this? It's a talent. Reconic and infernal. I'm not, do I look like an It begins speaking again with a, a various clicking, whistling sounds and more paper. <laughs> Speak and we know. Oh, apparently you can understand us. Negotiations seem to go well when I do. All right. What does it want? It wants to know why we're here. Why we're looking we're here. for the power. It begins whistling again and translating it through the paper. Power room? Mission similar. We demand help. It wants us to help it. What? What? That's very nice. Right here. How, how, what? Wait, you have a similar mission. Tell him right. I, here, here's, here's, here, here's Eck so going, he wants it to help, it uh, help us. What? He just <laughs> said goes to the ground. that we should help. Like, oh, that's right. Gotcha. Hey, we didn't play telephone. All right. Uh, help it with what? Uh, apparently it wants to find the power source or have something to do with power. What do you want with the power source? It begins whistling and complaining. Just <laughs> <Right, right. laughs> <Let's> keep looking <laughs> at it. <laughs> and again, in this very base word uh, 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 display that it has, mission absolute. Oh, what is it called? Cylinder uh, retention. Target goal. Cylinder retention. Cylinder retention. Target goal. What cylinder? Power. That is not the draconic word for power. <laughs> Are you sure? No. Could you elaborate? Question cease. Comply. Comply. No, it's threatening us at this point. Um, we could help it. It apparently wants the same thing we do. I don't uh, like being threatened, and also we don't know that it'll let us do what we want. Non-compliance confirming. Threat level attaining. It's continuing to threaten us. Okay, well, we could agree or not. Apparently our reputation doesn't receive us. Right. All right. We just want to... We, we, we agree to help you. Can I have a huddle? Can I have a huddle right now? Yeah, all right, sure. Can I help? 
more uh, paper falls out. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Why am I always rolling persuasion? You're the <laughs> most vocal. <laughs> person who's not very good at talking has only done all the talking. 13. Okay, so it's not an immediate negative effect. Right. So, what? what? Like, is it still printing stuff, though? Yes, it's continually talking. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me, we need a second. Stop! You're being very rude. Right. It doesn't charge. Just more paper. Uh, we're not sure whether it's telling the truth or lying or not, so I think we should probably just say what it it, what, it wants us to tell it, and we have to be on our guard the entire time. Worst case scenario, we fight it anyway. It's best case scenario, take us where we're going, and we throw it there. He's got it right. More paper flies out. <laughs> on the other hand, it could be an ally. It's true. It's true. It could be an ally. It's indeed. We can agree. Delay the decision. All right, fantastic. All right. Look, we all agree. We help yes. you without question. And break. Okay. <laughs> well, <we're... laughs> let's see what, he, what, what our large esteemed gentleman had to say. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's an esteemed. Thank you. I've been hanging around Eck for Yes, oh, indeed. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling on my leather straps right here. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, I did compliance, compliance. Pretty yeah. much, it was like comply. I'm, I'm, compl guessing, compl I'm compl guessing it hurt us, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, Threat uh, level termination. What, what, what? Right. And followed by cancellation. Oh. oh. I was... I was timing this. <laughs> oh, 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 All right. And more parchment comes out. Workstation middle. Seemingly guiding you to a, a specific part of the workstation. Uh, okay. Take vials and equipment. Okay. We leave now. That's an instruction manual. Shit. Yeah, all right. So okay, take, load, okay. up the, load up the vials. I have no reason to question. Okay. They have no reason not to take vials and equipment. So you see uh, three vials. Sorry, four vials. Each one is seemingly symbol. The first vial that you pick up is a uh, strange ethereal, like cloudy, uh, almost like an ethereal white with a little bit of uh, a blue to it. That's just constantly uh, shifting back and forth with a slight little glimmer of like almost like particle dust, like micro dust inside of it. Uh, one of them has two focal points. The second one looks like it's almost like a, uh, like a white fire that's going from the base to the top just consistently. Okay. And another one is almost like completely void of all color and is completely see-through. An empty vial. No, no not entirely, but you see like the movement of liquid and stuff like that. Sure. And you see the small, it's like the original vial, but it's greatly reduced in coloration. Okay, so we have cloudy and ethereal white, we have white fire, we have a see-through void liquid that produces no color, and... So, uh, okay, the original one is the, the blue tint one. The white, uh, essentially the ethereal liquid with a blue yeah. tint. The second one, it has two focal points of f uh, fine dust. That's the one I'm missing. Okay, yep. we're good. Do the contents of any of these vials look familiar? Make a either arcana check or a. Shit, okay. What's yeah, that? and since you are actually good at brewing potions, that's going to change your DC. Uh, ask it how long it's been here. You said arcana or uh, uh, herbalism. Seriously, learn to read your kind. Herbalism. Huh? It's, a, it's a tool. Oh, what? Okay. If you just ask the question, I'm at table. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How long has it been here? Yes, that's why I asked. Roughly 1.3 years. Well, I don't, I don't read it. Does it have a? Do you have an understanding of time external to this place? More paper. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta put it. Time irrelevant outside of. What? Time irrelevant outside of what? And how do you oh, know cool. how many years you've been here? Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you don't know where he's sitting. Let's get out. Fifteen. Wait. I'm sorry. I need to go back. Fifteen. Uh. Clearly, one of the worst possible. Yeah, you have no idea. What You've never run into these type of materials. Before. No worries. We ask big man. 
He's so chatty. I'm sure that uh, he'll give us all the information all right. we want. Where does it want us to go? Uh, so, okay, so take, what? What take the bot, run the vial in the strap of the, the bandolier in my chest, you know? All right. What else, Mike? What else am I picking up? There is a backpack. Now, I call this a backpack. That's mine. It, yeah. Um, let me describe this a little bit. On the table that looks like it's been in midst of construction or has been finally constructed or whatever, it looks like what it almost looks like a Tesla jump pack. It quite literally is a backpack with a uh, uh, plasma uh, a screen that is going back and forth with two Tesla coils on the side I, of it. Steampunk proton pack. Yeah. It's <laughs> not mine. I don't. Yep. And you pick it up and it's weighty. It is all metal and copper and steel. Yeah, I made myself a yeah, and it has two thick leather straps that go across the chest oh, and shoot. belly. Helmet. <laughs> Is there a helmet around? If there's one person <laughs> who's going to go flying, crash, and survive, it will be him. <laughs> and cause mayhem and destruction at the same time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, have you ever seen, ever seen the Rocketeer? <laughs> yes. This item does require a tomb. We'll take care of that later. Yes. More paper flies oh, out. Boy. Uh, we have Seemingly, as you look, as he uh, makes notice of your overall confusion of what these vials are, and he gives the basic information that will, uh, I'll just hand these over so that you know what they are. You're the only one reading it. Because it takes quite a bit of paper. <laughs> Correct. And the fourth one is just concentration of time itself. In liquid state. You have liquid time. What? What's one do with liquid time? Potentially you fix that weird frozen spot. Maybe that is liquid time. Okay. Hmm. Got it. So is that where I wish I always had more time comes from? No, no. Whenever you lose time, this is where it goes. Um, I don't like that. Well. Is it too cratchit? Hey, we're all just gonna follow this thing because we it wants us to. I mean, just, you literally suggested it. I know, but we have nowhere else, but no other idea of where to go. And they might have some other idea of where to go. So, I mean, the worst case scenario, we kill it anyways. Who sent this thing here? Ask it. Who sent the? Who sent you? There is no I, only we. There's no Dana, only Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Primordial, uh, we are. We are Magron. What? I told her Primordial. Of course it is. He's, he's, his name is Magron, or, or sorry, we's name is Modron. Mod Modron. Modron. Oh, what about these? What? What's these are, these are these are well I don't know if I know that. Roll a history. I know. Hey. Player like? knowledge too. I'm, <laughs> I'm like I'm like zip it. <laughs> <What's a Modron? laughs> Alright, for those playing at home, a Modron is a clockwork entity from the plane of law. Like they they they're they're they're, they're, they're um a angels angel angelic planes good, demonic planes bad, Modrons lawful yeah, clockwork planes. Oh, literally just law. That's it. Yeah, I remember. Uh, That's why we're Rules, rules, rules. Now the you hear like we don't thing, know that you're preoccupied with too many things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Plus, I wouldn't care. Our our, our, <laughs> character, our characters don't know this. That's why it's doing the art of gods. But we don't know this because you don't know this. My uh, character would care. Like, would care. If they recognize Modron, which they don't. Which means that well, they're probably just bored and annoyed. Probably. So, where is it? it? Are you able to fit, not fit where you're supposed to go, or what? Because you're still here. So, there must be like a too, you're too big to fit somewhere, right? With heavy, heavy, heavy footsteps that echo in the chamber of the air. <laughs> As various uh, steam ports are exiting, hot pressurized steam. 
it uh, goes through this for a uh, working station as he begins to speak again take printing device yeah how big, how big is this thing <laughs> He needs you to take the teletype. The what? How big, how big is the machine? It's a good... Yeah, it's in I, know. Block. <laughs> I don't know what a teletype is. <laughs> I'm pointing at that right there. It's a teletype. It's pretty much a teletype. Just steampunk the hell and back. And now that you're looking at it, it's quite literally two hands with two quills just going back and forth. And it looks like one of those uh, soldier arms. Like one of them is the soldier arms. Another one is... Uh, made from rudimentary uh, uh, patching of various different parts that make a hand that's fused to the quill. Just going now we know why there's all the piles. It was like it's dismantling and remantling. It's probably like an artificial type. Mm-hmm. Hey, make a perception. Oh, well, I have a feeling this is not. We're gonna fight this thing at one point or another. Well, we're hitting all my high point skills today, so. Uh... <laughs> That, though, is an after 20, so that's 23. Woohoo! Okay, makes sense. Five. Let me double check so I don't get too much information. Okay, so in the midst of the conversation, and partially why you were confused, along with the uh, onslaught of information of very, very powerful things uh, in terms of liquids, uh, you notice about two tables over of this uh, massive platform. First of all, this entire workstation is quite literally all on one separate piece of material that is not infused on the floor. Like this is a separate item. And the th second thing that wraps your attention is a strange little tone. Well, I say little, but I'm, I'm a pretty sizable tone about the size of your torso that is currently open and has various pieces of paper um, of this gear type uh, uh, bound tone of blueprints. Of mechanical people. Wow. Let's More paper flies out. Take a look at that. Like, here's the Make a arcana check. I'm holding it and just spitting out paper. What's he say? I'm holding it in front of you. Oh. <laughs> Cease. Cease. Uh, 25. 25. With a DC of 25. Ooh. As you begin to read a tome of Clockwork Warframes, oh. you understand just barely the immense complication of how, or understanding the blueprints of how to make piloted dolls. And that's what he is uh, piloting as you look back at this steam go golem piloted by a small little monjon. Someone tells me he found that in here and built one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you hear, as the power drill begins to turn and activate, and seems to be going towards you. Uh, Spark, kill him. What? Kill it. Roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> I think X should get a surprise round for this. <laughs> I'm the only one. It's the only one sitting there. Did you get it yet? <laughs> Come on, I've got my X. I can't put it away. <laughs> Watch it now, it must taste blood. All right, so we need to clear the table here, don't we? Yes, we do. You're bringing out a map. And that's a natural 20. <laughs> this is All right. You know what? I, I When we were setting up the table here, I didn't know. It's like, we've got a freaking zoo well, going on here. I don't know why you guys keep bringing up the chicken. The <laughs> so, chicken's gone. The chicken's the, dead. Here, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me move this. Oh, yes. I, I'd like to point out that this is exactly how it should have gone. Natural 20, kill him. What? Oh. Assuming a one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm holding the typewriter. He says, Sparks, kill him. What? <laughs> what, is, what an acceptable okay. answer in that statement. Here we go. I have advantage as an ability for feral instinct Place on yourself. initiative. Let's see whether or not I get to roll Where high or not. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Uh, shoot. Why do I think it's a lever? Why is it always a lever? Someone put the shadow to hold the lever? No, I don't want to pull the lever. Oh, I didn't even have that lever. God, I love that movie. What? The cancel pack. Pull the lever. My favorite.
favorite thing about the lever wow. is oh, later when they go, why does she even oh, have that lever? Why, <laughs> why did the rope go through the oh, terrain? That's, no, that's not good. The rope goes through the terrain. There. I forgot, it, this is also the room above, but I forgot to uh, scrapify it. So, that's the workstation. This is where the workstation is. It means up a little bit here. Yeah, one more light over there, Nathan. Yep. Electricity, as the other areas are currently locked. Where did you come from? You came in from the rooftop. Ceiling, from so the there is no way. This is, this is back where we landed. Correct. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm holding the typewriter. All right. Where is it at again? Yeah, right. Robot. Right. Uh, it's be great big. All right. So that's going to put me Lock standing off. right in front of it because I'm oh, the yeah, only one who's been going. That's where I've been going. Oh, uh, are we going to be doing something about this thing or not? I forgot to tell you there was another liquid. This one, I'll just say right off the bat, this one is very familiar as you pick up the last one with that SG20. Very familiar red liquid, but in super size form. Right. Oh, that's the hidden potion. Oh, yeah. We should throw that out of the camera. Uh, okay. Supreme. Superior. Those are awesome. <laughs> right. I have to roll my initiative myself. Oh, that's typical. Oh crap, we are all bunched together, but oh, oh god, this shit is not going to go well. This is gonna be fine. We could have come back for the book. Okay, we could have come back for the book. How hard is it? 20 to 25. I, 23. 23. Drake, <laughs> kill him. What I said, kill him. <laughs> 20 to 15. 17. Okay. What? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yes. Ow. Ow. Uh, we're a little scared of me. It's a well built table, isn't it? Mm. Yes, <laughs> it is. It with me. Solid oak. Sorry. Uh, what do you need? The scare of mini because it, oh, well, yes. it hasn't been an hour. I still have this. Little that is true. It's just kind of been chill chilling out on your shoulder along with uh, Mr. Is, Hemingway. Scared? 15 to 10. It's a background scare. Oh, crap. You okay, David? Yes, I'm fine. I'm. He's concerned with the situation. Right. Oh, baby. Yes. Is there Putting room piles inside of the legs. neck for anything? Say again? Is there room uh, inside the question. neck for anything? What's your question? We'll get to like that rush. just a moment. Just peed on it. And what was your initiative, Nathan? Okay, Drake, it is your turn because you uh, initiated this. Dead kill it. Pull, you know, the, pull the gun, mm -hmm. turn, and uh, and unload into it. Uh, so um, I'm going to cast Heat Metal. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to, can I can I get at the Modron itself, or does this hit the call? This is going to get the golem, I would think. As you cast the spell... Oh, I see what you're saying. Because As you're ready. aiming for the Muldron itself in this little cage of container that is currently pulling very... Like, like he little cage that he's in? Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. As soon as you cast the spell... The spell... You could feel the spell itself being sapped into the actual unit itself. Unfortunately, the spell does not land on the Muldron. Okay. Like, I don't think it worked at all. What the magic -y user assessment would that seem like something i could counter spell no you think okay. that this is just an innate ability that is the steam that's fine uh, steam golem so it has to make a ability check if i remember correctly no but... oh yeah heat metal is terrible i know that heat metal is a horrible spell yeah it's a it's a f terrible way to die it is a terrible thing to witness and it's something out of a freaking horror show i have been that's... waiting for any any of the forge any of the forge at all to get into fight with me. I have had this spell. <laughs> it had a random name on it just for that one. Person. Choose a manufactured metal object. Uh -huh. Nothing else. Steam Forge. Any creature within physical contact. It's a Steam Forge. It's a big, 
fucking metal thing. I have been waiting for any forge to yeah. open his mouth the wrong way. Oh, so when you... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> As its bones basically just turn to molten lead. Okay, so... Probably fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Any creature in physical contact with... The... Oh, no. Okay, noted. Uh-oh. I think it's an oh no. So, yes. Your favor for change. Normally. Okay, this is where the situation where normally it would not be affected by the spell, but since it's physically touching the Modron, roll your damage. Oh. Twice. Oh. No, does that happen? Does that happen the first round immediately, Heat Metal? Or yeah, as soon as he cast it. Okay, because I thought Heat Metal took time to... to... No, no it's, it's a horrible spell. Yeah, it's a it is a horrible spell. Um, if that had an 15 fire damage. Oh my god. Your chest plate is suddenly oh, red hot. Right? And guess what? So, I don't have to do anything. As soon as you cast a spell, this whole thing begins to heat up. As it becomes a or at first it goes from... Uh, 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 you start to see the heat rip, uh, 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 heat start to ripple off this thing, and it's already a boiler, so it just amplifies the additional as you hear. Uh, it's getting mad. It's so, getting really mad. And then here, <laughs> as it's like touching the uh, metal uh, uh, freaking piloting devices on the inside, and it starts just jumping on the inside, and it's quite literally baking a lot. Okay, so that was the like the first one that you said roll it twice? Yes. Okay. I roll it twice. Oh. I don't know. You do it. Maybe it's also yeah, metal? I didn't know the motor are metal. Maybe they are. No, no. 18. He's, he's, 18. he's, in, he's inside of it, piloting it, taking damage because he's on it. So oh. Again, the golem and it. Right, right, right. The turn, eat. Normally, it would just be uh, towards the golem, but you did a very... Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's... that's my action. Bonus action, the arcane cannon hits it. Okay. Uh, uh, will a 10 hit it? Unfortunately, no. As you shoot, as the arcane cannon, it hits the side of the uh, steam forge, a uh, steam golem. 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 It does not. Okay. And uh, then, that's when Hemingway from the table looks at it, and again, the, the little arcane runes run up run up the, the individual arms of the octopus and he looks at it and you all hear a you all hear a psychic scream come out of the octopus uh, if it could please make a in, int sick ac 15. is it psychic damage yeah okay that's immune no son of a bitch it was so cool <laughs> that's a natural well. one. it's a natural one no, I said no. It uh, sorry. It does. It does work. Okay. It does work. Wait. Do I? The reason why I ask if it's psychic damage is because it goes straight to the monster. Okay. So that is psychic damage. He takes two d six. Uh huh. Do I have any understanding that that just happened? <laughs> yes. Yes. This is definitely a territorial. Okay. Uh, like so knowledge. Nicholas is suddenly lighting up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> She's back in. So that's seven psychic damage, and he needs to take it. 1d4 to whatever his next save is. Minus Name the Mondrons in. Are you serious? What? The what? Death here is. I'm back here. Boy! I just, just hollow out the inside of it. <laughs> okay. You don't hollow out the actual machine because the actual unit doesn't take a lot of damage. Oh, sure. Yeah, but as it's baking alive and now a mini oven, as it's screaming, whistling, clapping, as it just starts to claw, claw at the physical bars that are protecting itself from the outside world, as it begins to uh, go out and try to open it up, it doesn't even get a halfway as you hear click, 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 as the door, and suddenly the second from the uh, uh, Mr. Hemingway, and suddenly and his eyes pop, pop, and then a yeah, the little pop of springs. <laughs> And springs pop out of his mouth, and he's as he begins to fall, he disintegrates upon impact of the floor. What of the golem? It stands there. Well, anyway. And after a few moments, he looks bored again. The piloted steam golem anyway. has no pilot. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> it can't be that simple. <laughs> 
You can boom. How big? Did, <laughs> how how big was this thing that fell out of the thing? Yeah, the thing that fell out is a tiny size creature. So it's quite literally a box. Hemingway. And he go take her. Okay, it can't be that simple. <laughs> but does this look like something you can handle? I mean, he's got eight arms. Make an intelligent check using your intelligent modifier. Using mine? Mm -hmm. is. Yeah, would you like to assist Mr. Hemingway? In... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I will help him, but I'll use his stats. While they're assessing, I kind of nudge Charles, who then poops into it. <laughs> and he goes, <gasps> and jumps out immediately, realizing how hot it's inside of that real quick, and he immediately... And goes behind your leg. Does he seem hurt? His paws are a little scorched, but nothing more. Fifteen. Fifteen? Mr. Hemingway, after a moment, looks at uh, Sparks. Okay. Right. Put down the, the typewriter, which now I'm assuming it stopped. Have Points it? towards your... Uh, um, I'll take that. Your mobile hose, essentially. Oh! Oh, that's true, yeah. Because it's still Pull fucking hot. And immediately jumps into it. And begins pulling several levers. And the arms are... And another one. Takes another one. Takes, and pulls another lever. As it, uh, and pulls one final lever as the hatch closes shut. That was a lot of work. So... Tell me about this table that I noticed that was strange and unique. Table? Oh, yeah. Um, you, are you... What? what? For the next minute, mm -hmm. I'm going to be... I'm going to cast it's Detect just Thoughts, thought. like, just... And I'm going to be pinging around sensing for anything that might also be part of the we that just got destroyed, in case there are more. Make a general perception check. I mean, I'm doing this anyway, but... Good point. I didn't think about that part. But did we just get a steam going? You yeah. just got a steam going. Uh, that is you're... utterly amazing. Minus, minus 18 hit points, because you did damage it a little bit. You're familiar. Just having 24? A steam going. No, 24? Ruin this. So <laughs> as he's investigating his new toy... Um, That's a word for it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we weren't supposed to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Get this. This is like uh, chance, man. This is like immediately took out the manjo on inside. Okay, so going from one scappy to another. He's going to help us go where we're going to get this. Sure. Where's that? Right oh. before, right after he kills us. Okay, first of all, the dude's been here for over a year and he hadn't made it. Let's not pretend that he was going to be the best of guys. That's solid. That's fair. Second the of only thing that popped out. From the Mondrian itself, it's its equipment. Mm -hmm. it had strange spears and a uh, what looks to be a uh, a short bow, mm -hmm. but it has that strange building design mm -hmm. of all metal that are is uh, still flexible in nature. Hey guys, it um we're actually completely isolated from pretty much everything now. You guys just want to chill here for a bit. Can that wait until I finish? <laughs> Because literally in the middle of here, I know. Yeah, and anyway. things more important. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw things at you, and I'm not going to be there's kind. One was in here to do that. Uh, you notice that there's a certain design to the actual Mondrian's uh, weapon, mm. especially for the sides. And you notice a whole scrap heap of just similar weapons. Okay. And you put two to two together that this guy did not come here alone. Right. But do you we... do not sense any intelligence apart from people that you already know. Okay. And from your perception check, you don't think there's anything else in here apart from you. Anything else in here? In here. Okay. So, weapons belong to him. That scrap heap is full of those same weapons. There were lots of Mr. Wee, and there may be more. There aren't any here right now. I think... Mr. Hemingway just got a, a big uh, strength buff, so if anything, I think we're covered for a little bit. I think if you want to sleep here, 
there are potentially a bunch of guys who are going to come here. Mm. Mr. I just proposed a long rest. Which means we're not going to get it. I mean, you can, but just establish guards. Well, we might get the long rest, actually. The really long rest. <laughs> One can only hope in your We got case. a lot of stuff here. And I want to figure out what the heck the clap was. Speaking of, I'm going to take it off and figure out how it is. Yeah, so what was the table? With your natural 20. We'll get to you in just a moment. Roll our comment chat. Let's... Steal the book, yeah, <laughs> it takes a few moments because it is a big haunted book. It is, it is and when you actually look on the outside of the tome, this thing is, I mean, the binder itself is made nothing but cogs and gears and springs that have been, that look three-dimensional, but have been collapsed into a single sheet of a... a, a it's going to be like months of reading. But hey, now you, can build, now you can build constructs that you can pilot. You just became a mecha builder. And this is probably the reason why it was able to build it. Da, 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 da. Here you go. Oh, not just money. Oh not my money. god. Not just money. You You're lucky you that you succeeded on a DC 25's uh, uh, intelligence check. You know what you can do? You can build titans that people work for just like me can pilot. There it is. We've got a serious <laughs> upgrade to the, uh, to the fire. Suddenly we just were supporting. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, you have a Suddenly this turns business. into a mecha fight. I'm down for that. Come <laughs> 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 on, horse! I'm going back to the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's gonna happen. I like that it happened. But this one's supposed to happen. Yeah, I like this shit. So, I mean, you literally can. You did. You can't make this shit up. Yes. You literally can. We did. You can't predict this would happen. I mean, I gave the opportunity that it would happen, but I didn't expect you guys to immediately cast the two spells that would target the Majon. Right, because how are we going to get to it? You know, the thing. I've always heard it as Majon, but it's Modron. Modron. I, I don't know. It's just heard it as Modron. See, I'll call it Modron. Anyway, so uh, with that uh, um, very high perception check that you saw last time, you go and uh, make an investigation check. Before I give too much information, what was your Arcana check? Um, Arcana check was 16. 16? You get the general understanding of how it works. Okay. 27 on investigation. It's not too terribly complicated. Hmm? 27 on investigation. 27? As you go around, you notice that the entire floor is actually sitting on top of the floor of the room itself. The, all the workstation, everything that's in it, of the four different tables that are sitting in it with all its various devices and so on and tools and so on and so forth. And you notice that there is a slight 45 degree angle wall that connects to the other wall to the back of this workstation. And you look where the steam golem is standing and you notice that there's a foot plate that is uh, sitting at slight, like 10 degrees. Almost like a, you press it and it's a button kind of deal. That's a solid two feet wide. By one foot. Okay. That might be our way out. Well, that this this thing won't make it through that, will it? You like that, don't you? <laughs> it's right up my alley. <laughs> I just literally got an electric jump pack. I thought you might do yeah. I can cast jump at will. And when I land once per dawn, I can do 3d12 lightning damage. Actually, when damage. you jump from where you are and where you land. And where I land. Yeah. So you quite literally once per dawn, you can... Yeah. However... How does that impact things on his back? Good question. <laughs> well, by terms of what it is, everything that is not you takes electricity damage. Don't use that when I'm on your back. <laughs> Can you, like, make a note on the card don't use with Nick with backpack? Wait a minute. Don't use, don't use when any of us are around. Right? So there like, is your there general is, area. Yeah. It, just don't. It has a backlash, you know. Is there a backlash? Yeah. Like, okay. you can just toss me to the side. That's fine. But. So jump. I just imagine jump. you landing with sparks with your don't hair just. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I need to look at the jump spell. Here, I got it. You don't know what jump I think you have the. Yeah. All right. So what happens when I click the button? Make a Arcana <laughs> check. You're not quite sure what happens, but at the same time, something doesn't. Something's off about this workstation. But the Arcana check is 19 plus 8. You're an artificer, all right? This workstation, as you look at the uh, design of the table itself, as you notice that the hinges and the thing that's actually uh, standing on for the actual table, you notice that things can move and shift and collapse if it needs to. You look at the entire workstation, that's a good 10, 15 feet wide. You think you're looking at an artifact here? I'm, I'm not. What? What? An artifact. It's a, it is a item above legendary. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I got that bit, but I'm not clear what it is. Plots for workstation. Does it? Does it like you can fold it up and it, like it sits in your pocket? Like maybe you didn't. T- uh, you didn't cast uh, identify on it, so I can't exactly tell you. To talk to him. Okay, but now I'm gonna try and sit here and fold, fold the damn thing up. As you try to fold the actual damn thing up. Your words. It doesn't actually move, and then your eyes, after a good solid two minutes of you trying to figure out how to collapse this thing, your eyes go back to at the very front of this workstation. No, it can't be that thick. <laughs> All the tables and very meticulous clockwork folding as everything becomes from three dimension to two dimension, almost like a reverse popping book. Suddenly it folds up very nice and neatly from a 15 foot wide uh, workstation to a nice neat little business carry case. You just gotta fold your workstation. Apparently. He was also gonna step on that to collapse you guys inside. And you also see the other way out beyond the workstation that this was covering up. Oh, oh. Oh, there's the hole. I believe that's our way out. Here's the hole, right? Yep. Look at that. So this is gone, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's in a case. Well, that. yes, but and then. Ta-da. I'm pretty sure it's in Drake's pocket now. <laughs> <laughs> Blanket's gone. I should just keep it, maybe so I can just unfold it at any point. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I want to search this entire space before we decide to go. Right, down. right. He mentioned weapons. Like there okay. were, there's a big whole pile. And I want to wonder uh, what he's doing with that rope down the center tiny. of the of the. Uh, what's this rope doing down the center of the? Of oh, those the... are just pipes and things. Oh, can right. you identify the sword for me? I guess I can. It's a keyblade. It's uh, it takes me ten minutes. Do you have it prepared? I do. Oh. I thought that we might come, that might come in handy. Because I think I might be using a new sword soon. Uh, ten minutes go by. Woo! Nothing bothered you at this time. It is a a long sword, uh, key, uh, not key blade, gear blade, plus one. Decent. I'll keep it for selling purposes. It's not much better than my current nine sword knife. Uh, no, your sword that you've been using is not a plus one. It does more damage and has other abilities, which is why. I will have two swords on my back. But it's not video. a two-man. If you just swing it, it will have a plus one effect. I do not give uh, cards for something that simple. Just put uh, just long sword plus gear, one. a gear blade longsword plus one. That's all you need. Is there anything you else would like to do in this room? Is there anything worth note in any of the scrap heaps? Nothing really. Okay. Using your other uh, pers- uh, passive, it's not passive, your perception check. Apart from a lot of robotic bodies of the clockwork soldiers mm-hmm. that are in various parts of disarray that have been intentionally ripped apart. Either for scrap 
or in battle, but salvaged and then scrapped again. Okay. The jump pack requires attunement? It does. It's not in the card. Ken it Charles. Oh, I missed that. Can Charles fit in the mech with Hemingway? It would be a little tight, and it might cause some uh, piloting problems, but yes. It might be worth it in certain extreme situations. So, do we, are we going to stick around here, or are we going to continue on? Mm. This place is nothing but disappointment. I would quite like to leave. Well, have we searched the whole place? Thanks. So. Right. Pretty much. All right, fine. All right. Well, then let's move along. Uh, can we? Can can this? How is how is uh, um, your eight armed friend doing? Can it? I don't know. Walk through Forward. the hole here. Can it walk through the opening? Over the course of the time, as you guys have been exploring this room, he's been doing all sorts of experimentation. Right, he taken out one of the walls, I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and after a few moments, <laughs> it stands in front of you as one of the arms. <laughs> The whole thing tilts forward and walks away. We're going to have one hell of a story when we get back. I'm going to keep that miniature, by the way, for yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> Literally. I... Okay. okay. This thing. Uh, does anyone want gloves and swimming and climbing? No. Because I have five of them that I have. I'm similarly overburdened. Okay, and then so how did you go? Also, that whole swimming thing involves getting wet, so not really my favorite. Being able to cast a jump at will is kind of a thing that I need. So are we at least hanging out for an hour for his attunement swapping, right? You can definitely take oh, yeah, yeah, a short rest. Yeah, I just, yeah, with searching the room. Various things of investigation and also identify. It's been an hour. So if you want to take a short rest during this entire situation, go right ahead. You can roll a number of hit dice that you have remaining. Uh, you regain anything that you would, uh, normally would on a short rest. Um, I believe that's it. Another way to uh, take out this golem was also to uh, actually never mind. I'm not going to say that. You read the paper. If we're going to find it again. Well, no, I'm not going to say it. Shattered. Especially with the tome and I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you basically understand this entire nature of what is a steam golem, or at least this version of a steam golem, because oh, yeah. you have the tome. That's, um, that's good to know. Actually, not this. I mean, I also have shadow hounds that, while they take damage occupying a space that is full of gears and shit, would be willing to do that to fucking murder something. That's true, yeah. There was really no way we weren't getting this open. Alright, well, um... <clears throat> we need to, uh... What does the tunnel look like through the... What does that corridor look like through the other way? Make a perception check. The corridor down okay. the other way. So Six. the immediate thing that you see... Six. <laughs> okay, so you don't see much far. It's a corridor the down, the, okay. down the other way. It's a corridor that is in... And you okay, so it's a long corridor with various different other uh, room components that go on off in a very. Um, the immediate thing that uh, catches your attention is the in mid explosion of this weird mechanical spider thing with a uh, fleshy eyeball that just curled around with 
Rain's purple magic. Where? In the hallway. Frozen. It looks frozen. Very similar to the bridge that was... You should shoot it with water. You also know notice that uh, from one of the pipe works that are in the, laid into the wall itself, it burst and exploded outward, and the very uh, actual explosion part of the fireball is frozen itself as well. Oh. They're quite literally something flying around. Hmm. Uh, the water particles stop. Oh yeah, it's only on the left side. You can easily go around. Literally pumping time. Maybe we're supposed to fix the pipe. Oh, I mean, you have a bottle of time. I do. Doubt that repairs the pipe, honestly. Uh, so let's not waste it. It's very limited. You do notice that there is a opening at the end of this corridor, about fifty feet down. Now that everyone's looking at it. Not just uh, perception six. Can you mend the pipe? Anything I would do to it just get stuck. You know, when we walk, we kind of get stuck. I don't not recognize that reference. How would you like to proceed? Well, I'll, I never got to swing a damn thing. Doesn't want to, that I want to swing at that thing, even though it's frozen. Or at least it's not moving. I wouldn't say it's frozen. Wait a minute. It could be one of the most, one of the most time thingies where it's not, nothing moving. Can you shoot an arrow? It. As you look over it, you notice that there's a bunch of water particles that are stuck in the air. Oh boy. Yeah, he already hosed the water. Welcome back, Mr. Wine. I have a suspicion that we're going to be fighting a lot more of this fight than this guys. Does it look like it's really damaged? or it's like It looks like it's in mid-explosion. Like the thing itself is exploding or the fire? Like something is just floating from the side of the wall. And it's getting hit by it at the same time. So we don't know how we can get around With it. your passive perception with Nicholas, you know, also notice that there's some sort of weird black together. container that's also being exploded with. Just doing spell research. Do I recognize what that black container is? Make an investigation check. God, what am I not seeing? Those won't help in this kind of situation. I mean, you can get closer, but you're going to be inside. Investigation? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, um, it looks like a uh, it looks like one of those uh like construction bar containers that does not actually have like wood in between, but it's just a cross wire of a uh, package that is actually able to hold things, but you can see what's inside of it. Um you notice more glass inside of it. Shattered and broken, and it's currently exploding outwards. Carrying a couple. There's no, no way. There's no way to get anything off of it because anything goes in the area it freezes, right? Or, or so. So. You know the stereotype of a teenager who doesn't want to be on vacation with their parents, and so they kind of just start walking ahead of everyone, disinterested. Good <laughs> minute. That's going on right now. Good minute. So you hit the end of the hallway before yep. anyone else while they're doing this. Yep. Does anyone have a long stick? With a hook on it. It's like the hooks that we had from... A whole bunch of stuff in the other room. We could see about sticking a hook into the space and see whether or not we can drag something out. Are you willing to risk that it's like a right twist? Yeah. Meanwhile... <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this hallway, it immediately opens up. Mm -hmm. into a grand view of almost like a uh, factory floor. Mm -hmm. uh, you notice right away with your passive perception that this hallway is actually part of a massive cog that is actually making the walls of the room that you're entering. Hundreds upon hundreds of feet long. It is massive in here. And you notice a 
arcing of lightning that is uh, going from the ceiling to somewhat of the center of the room. Uh, that is generating some sort of a lot of power. But the actual center of it is slightly reduced so that it almost has a funnel effect. Mm. The next thing you realize is the factory floor is in mid-battle. At least parts of it are. As you see various things frozen in place. As you see uh, various parts of the factory floor that are actually sitting on slowly rotating perpetually gears. Massive things that are actually action, uh, acting as the floor. All interconnected uh, and making their own factory set, uh, segmented floor, so to speak. Some of these seem to be frozen in mid-place and have various different what looks to be shambling mounds of various uh, like corrupted clockwork things that have uh, misshapen bodies and various other things that have attached themselves that are currently fighting uh, uh, whatever way they can um, against proper built clockwork soldiers of various different types. Mm. You also notice uh, those un uh, folding, unfolding pathways that you walk down here for a long time to get here. You notice that there's actually upside down tank train tracks that are just hanging from those things that are mid transferring or in the process of falling as you see movement and then it goes back up and falling again and then back up and falling again as parts of it on fire. Is it actually correct? Well, like, like reversing? It is the same train going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all of the battles are frozen, like for the most part. Yes. Got an idea. Are there any that are active? With your passive perception, they are active, but they're stuck in this time loop. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then it's hundreds of feet. I wouldn't be able to do it. Never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna like look at all that, and then I'm kind of gonna look back at you two arguing back and forth about, uh, you know, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, yeah. <laughs> I hate a stick part, man. <laughs> so you're sticking a stick in, and what are you trying to crab? Well, we have, I don't know, did I bring one of the hooks that we used to... Oh, I can make you a hook. Okay. <laughs> he has a pile no. of scrap in the I other room. <laughs> Legendary. You feel no resistance as you go into it. And what are you trying to hook? Uh, is there like a, a pack or a, or, any, or or some objects that like look? You Make said there a, were kind of power type things or whatever that would. There is out. a small outline of a box in uh in the corner to the right, corner. Right, right. That's, that's what I thought you described something like that. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm going. Let's see if I can hook and drag it out. Okay. You hook it, and with your string. <laughs> You drag it out. <laughs> no way. I is smart. And then you realize it's there again. But yet it's still at your feet. That's a paradox. And then and faster and faster and faster until it's just quite literally a blur of black. I'm gonna glance over my shoulder, see that they broke time there, and then <laughs> So, aside from you breaking it and it being broken, time is broken different up here. Just right. if you're interested. Let's carefully away from yes, this. I will. Um, I'm sure this will sort sort itself out. We're going Very to, my, my concern is, is that if we actually ever get this thing activated, powered on, if then all these time want to have... thingies start moving like normal, we're gonna and we're going to have to be dealing with all of this. Yeah. Sure. On the way out. Or. We're going to get things going, and then more time is going to come out of the pipe, and we're all fucked because someone won't fix it. But. We won't know it. We won't know it, though. That would be the good thing. Yeah, part. we never know. Joy. It definitely lessens people's suffering if they're not aware of it. Who knows? The body already broke I know. I definitely know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here, Mr. Hemingway? I'm how many how many legs does he got? How are you how going many, to forget arms? that we this have a mess? This thing has well, he can tell you actually. How many legs does this thing have? Does well, he has two massive. It has two legs. It's humanoid. Yeah, it's a oh, humanoid. Really? Yeah, but right it has various different arms for different parts uh, of One, the two, three, four, four arms. It has four arms. 
three of them on one side and one massive drill on the left side. It, it is four worn oh, and sorry. four yeah. armed. Five legs. Five legs? Yep. So no, it only, it's only two legs. Right. So no, I mean five arms. There we go. Five arms and two legs. All right. It's got a free, so it's really it's got a free arm to flip them off. Yes. All right. Uh, we can maneuver past this strange thing and what... So what I come in behind uh, Nicholas and go, all right, what do we what, what do we got here? And uh, I point at the train going back and forth since that's the one I believe. Oh, you'll I under. kind of saw that before when I was dragging the box back and forth. Yes. So this was doing it without your help. How big is the train? Remember the fuck huge train track. Like lengthwise or how, like size wise, how big is it? It is at least, well, make a perception check. This is good 100 feet. It's kind of hard to tell oh, yeah. size-wise when everything is so fucking massive. Yeah. Uh, perception check, that's going to be a 16. 16? Remember the first train tracks you saw? <laughs> that massive. Oh, let's know. But it said, like, a, on top of it, it's actually hanging underneath, but it's not upside down. It's just, that's how it functions. Oh, so it's hanging. It's a hanging train, yeah. Wow. This place is weird. You like, right. Are you like this on the inside? No. As far as I know, I'm organic. It's very, very strange. Can we find a way out of here? This is without going, going through the time where frozen thing. There's a lot of stuff going on. Well, let's see. We need to keep going down. You notice there's lightning. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Lightning power. also. The power source. Here, fine. Yes. Like a... I'm, I'm envisioning almost like a gigantic. Is there like a floor? Because you said there's like gears and things, or is the it... floor is the gears. But is there big voids with it fall away? Yes. Oh. Yes. Right. You notice right. that there's actually gaps in between the individual gears, uh, not like well, some bigger than others. Uh, yeah, that oh. actually uh, have not void, but more turning gears, maybe ten to sixty feet down, that are turning themselves. That will just grind whatever falls into it into a billion a billion uh, pieces. Anyone want to be hamburger Happy. and go step near the edge? So, where are we spatially in relation to this? We want to be sausage. Yeah. Ask again. And where are we spatially in relation to this? So we're on, we're at a doorway. You're at the end uh, end of this hallway that you just exited the chamber with the steam uh, steam golem. Uh -huh. And right. you're looking at a massive factory floor that is circular in design. The actual uh, this factory floor's walls is actually entirely recessed in a giant massive car that's actually slowly rotating. So the wall itself is rotating with the actual uh, with everything else. Oh, so we're pretty central then. Seem to be, seem to be. Okay. There's lightning and so forth. So I mean, is there is any? Can you find a panel or a, a button or a switch? Yeah, I'll look around. Somebody want to hold down the primary thing? You start spraying all the over. The most useful item ever. <laughs> <laughs> Items got so much more money. It currently hits nothing. As you're currently just at the very end of the hallway and you're looking into the actual factory floor with their various different uh, rotating columns. Doing this as I walk. Okay. Wherever there's water, don't touch it. Investigate is 14. 14? Okay. So there's a lot going on here. As you begin to start tracking forward, just figure out where you are and where you need to go. Uh, the first thing that you uh, start to see was to the left side, there's some sort of or what used to be a gear uh, that has been turning the, of these uh, individually segmented uh, uh, factory floors that have the gear itself being the room, whatever it is, but even though there's no walls, mm -hmm. uh, has broken away entirely. And there's just a massive open space of rotating gears and cogs that are still moving underneath the thing itself. With uh, looking on the inside and looking even deeper to seeing bigger constructs underneath. Whatever was here is completely gone. Has crashed through it entirely and is leaving just a bowl of either void death or crushing death. To the right side. Place not to stand. You can have your voidy death. You crush your death or your stab you death. These things get around to it. Yes. Immediately to the right of you, you see. This thing's really broken. This thing's really broken. It was a massive There's fight. A big fight. Yeah, that's what in here. It was across the whole place that was in here. Well, uh, 
if I'm correct, theoretically, that was irrelevant in this plan compared to others. So we can get back, and one of two things is going to happen. One, no time has passed whatsoever, we're going to go in and out relative to them. Or we're going to get back there, and the entirety of the civilization is going. Third option, it's just standing. Third option is what? Their civilization hasn't been there yet, or it's just started. I don't think oh. you know what time is irrelevant means. I think you're trying to say it's not parallel. Yeah. So it very much matters. I'm going to be quite miffed if all civilizations are together. I mean, I Let's go to the fame back a few times. You know, you're seeing your myth. I mean, it, I suppose it's kind of the same thing here. I mean, I go through the right, go through the right door, and you're at the right time. Go through the wrong door, and you're a hundred years in the future. To the right, you see containers after containers after containers after containers that are in process of being loaded or unloaded. Hard to say which, as you see various different clockwork uh, mechanical uh, uh, creatures. That are in the process of loading and or unloading. They're currently not moving. And you notice that these containers are very similar to what is being loaded onto uh, the crates above for the train use itself. I don't know if you have to be dragged out from that time loop as to why mm -hmm. you're paying attention. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm something. So uh, go ahead. Okay. So these glass containers that you uh, that are being loaded into these steel frames to protect them are the exact same thing that they're loading as well. And you notice this strange ethereal blue tint to them. Similar to the tint that I've got in smile? Very similar, indeed. Mm. But these constructs are not moving. They're just currently standing in place in whatever action they were in the process. You're able to spray around them. Can you spray yeah. around them? You spray. Shh. It hits the floor. They're just off. So they might be off. Yeah. So that's good. We don't want to know that they're not moving. They're with us, or if they're actually frozen in one of these time bubbles. I assume they're like giant arms. So. They're just moving packages around. Some of them are actually like clockwork come to constructs. Others have this like almost like a. Posh, posh, uh, uh, Mad Max feel to it, where it has various different pieces of slag just molded into uh, what there is their bodies, and is currently moving around like almost like a frigid style move, but in like not not moving them all right now. Where is the light source from here? There is no light source, as far as you can tell. So, Everything's just emanating. Mm -hmm. There's no it's shadows. Just emanating. It's, it's just, just emanating. It's just here. Everything is just here. Soft, omnipresent um, light. Him at this moment. As you guys continue forward, I need someone to roll a d6 to see what you contact yeah, I... next. One. One. You know what happened last time we rolled a d6? Yeah. Nothing to it. And and you see more uh, collapse away uh, platform that is just grinded into nothingness. As you have to divert yourself a little bit, and may ask which direction are you heading? Are you heading towards like the center? Are you heading to the various different doorways that are along the walls all over the place? Well, we can go mid. Okay. Right in the middle. I yeah. agree. We can get a better vantage point from the center. I prefer jungle. So do I. But. Never mind. Just. Roll another d6. Didn't uh, get, I didn't get the joke. It's. I Two. Two. I knew you wouldn't. You weren't the target. <laughs> I'm good. Right. Nice. There's like three League of Legend nerds watching who they just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. I would have been shocked that you had no recognition of that. Like. I get it. I get it. Passing one platform after another, and with your constantly investigating and trying to find uh, whatever you can in order to do, integrate with with your key hand, you notice something on the floor as you guys are uh, 
passing from one gearhead to another, hopping with these smaller uh, gears. They're acting kind of like almost like a stone pathway, but with giant gears. You notice these strange, line, rigid line grooves in the floor itself that, when rotating, occasionally meets up with other lines and make these patterns on the floor. Maybe we follow that like a, like a route? You notice that it actually connects with all around you. What does the map say? The connection of the map. Uh, the, map the map says get here, I guess. It says everything converges here. So this, where we are. I wonder if it's like a circuit. Huh. Well, are the gears are the gears moving or are they just sitting there? Some are slowly moving. Some aren't. Some aren't. The ones that are slowly moving, are they doing the back and forth thing, or are they actually just moving? They're just perpetually moving in a complete circle. So the ones that aren't moving and the ones that are can't be joined, or are the ones that are? There are a couple of things broken here, if you haven't noticed. Uh, I don't know how, how can we... How can this even be repaired if we turn it on? It looks like it's going to just where's, fall apart. Where's that lightning coming from? From the, uh, you notice that actually at this uh, ceiling-ish kind of deal, it's not really con uh, actually connected with uh, the actual walls or anything, but there's like something above us, even a, a, a similarly massive apparatus above you that has these strange four um, plasma ball-like uh, constructs that are arcing with energy downwards that are hitting something that you not quite see because it's slightly recessed. But you notice that it's arcing off from the ceiling to four points on the floor. Should we go check that? I think so. It's a good idea. I think you should go first. Still spraying back and forth. You haven't hit any more time anomalies as far as you can tell. I don't care. <laughs> and you start to uh, hit this scrapyard-like area <laughs> on both left and right of you. And initially, it just piles of scrap, as you saw back in the other room. And then when you get a little closer, you start to see these strange ball-like things again. With the water spraying, can you be sure to not, like, hit the lightning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm made of metal. It's kind of hard not to be a lightning bolt. Right. I just... If... It hits you, kind of and there's natural defense, like you automatically grounded into the. Sure, but if it hits him, and there's water on the floor, and I'm standing in the water, like, so that's just like, for all flesh things. let's not no more Nico. with the light. <laughs> that's all. Continue. Okay. You notice that these balls. All of you notice that these balls of scrap are strangely organic. Like Good. they are definitely metal. They're definitely scraps. And pieces, and arms, and torsos, and robotic limbs. Do any look like that pile of scrap that was made of the Wii? There were no Wii bodies. Okay. Oh, I just got really bad part. And you notice that these spoolings of wires and cables that are sprawled out everywhere. Now, you, there are pathways that you're taking that run up on these actual gears themselves. As you're going in between these things. These spools of wires are latching on to higher vacuum than anything that are slightly higher than any of the actual floor itself. Very similar to almost like webbing. Uh, weren't, we, weren't there like spider things out there? There I mean, were yeah. spider things out there that we've seen. Also, almost I, like webbing. So, strangely organic. Is um, it him? Like, is it bits of his people on the ground? I don't think it's that. Make an investigation check. Or a perception check. I'm Maybe. thinking flushlings that have been converted or upgraded. Perception is much better. Let's do that. 19. Replacement. 19? Yep. Uh, hard to say. But it's not just like a normal pile of square. That's just building up over time. These things are cylindrical in design, even though they have been molded together from various different parts and pieces that have been made into almost like balls uh, themselves and then placed like they're sticky onto the floor or onto the side of a oh. and then something else. Let me go look inside one. These things, uh, they can vary anywhere from five feet in diameter to like 10 feet in diameter. 
this is what I'm thinking. Those are eggs. And you notice there's Those like they're made eggs. of torsos, heads, legs, and you notice a couple of them twitching. A couple of eyes flicking. And that's if when you he, think it's an egg, you can get a surprise hit in real quick. Just line up a good So on guard for furious to start to damage my call. Uh, yes. Uh, Either of the just don't look at like any of the piles that we big damage. This does not options. look like a normal pile. Of stuff. Right. This doesn't look any of the piles that we saw with the steam forge. No. No. Right. Those were normal. You know, they pile yeah. up and they slide off. It was just common. Idea. Idea. Really stupid idea. Love stupid ideas, but yeah. Biggest hey. Hey. Do you do notice a hand that was catching your attention that twitched ever so slightly? has a very nice gauntlet to it. Steampunk to hell and back. It has a very, almost like shiny gauntlet that is over its hand. That's we're a good... We're talking Infinity Gauntlet style? <laughs> well, it's well crafted and well made apart from the very scrap heap that it's upon. It's got a couple of runes on it, some stones. It is perpetually turning cogwheels at the, uh, underneath the wrist. Uh, covers the entire hand in a gauntlet feel of armor. It has two blue pressure container containers that are piped in to various parts of the gauntlet. Hey, Twinkle Toes make a lead foot. You want to hit that thing? Just give it a good whack? It's a good 30 feet into the actual platform itself. Is it moving? No, it's talking to the... Is it, move is it moving? Oh. There's more of these other things it's moving much around. Bigger. That that looks he, got the, he had an entire big ass drill on one arm. You, you, that that just get, drill has a lot of faith in his uh, ability to aim, but sure. What it's a 15 foot ball. There are a number of these things, by the way. It's just one of the big ones. Or maybe the one that has the gauntlet on it. Okay. That one's 30 feet into the platform because each area is segmented off to its own turning gear. You're not on these gears itself. You're looking into other gears. Looking at it for a few seconds. Kill it. Just someone hit one of them. I, but I don't want to start a chain reaction here. Uh, all right. Would you rather is there, is there start a lightning one or have one oh. happen? Is there any lightning near it? Big gun. Chain reaction. Make, there, a, make a perception check if you're looking right. for some sort of electrical is there, area. Is there an electrical area around it? Meaning, is it safe to get... Does it appear to be like I'm going to be electrocuted if I try to walk forward? Make a perception check, yeah. Jesus. Perception. Here we go. Would you like oh. an investigation? Fif it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> 15, though. Okay, not that bad. Not the bad. <laughs> well, my safety's in question. I'm going to look a little harder. Yes. As you're looking around, looking at the uh, base and the connecting points of the gear itself, from your location to its gear, so to speak, you don't catch anything in terms of runes or electrical patterns or like a, a giant electric fa fence around it or something like that. But the thing that you do realize, some of them covered, actually, no, sorry, that are completely <laughs> not affected by these mounds of scrap are these at the end of each gear head. All right. Is these half domed, not not half domed, but like a domed uh, blue light, so to speak, of glass. And then, that's on every gear, or just the ones where this is at? On this gear, and those that are other similar to this right. gear type, has. So there's this interesting deck. Oh, I wonder if that's where. Okay, that's probably like where the lightning's supposed to hit or something. Maybe I'm not getting near that. But is this? Where is that? Relative to where we are. Yes, the lightning feet, is, is where... another two hundred feet uh, feet to the center. Right, but but the lightning is, but this thing is about thirty feet away, where we're seeing that. The thirty uh, thirty feet away is the actual gauntlet. I would say about the actual gear itself is a good eighty feet in diameter. All right. Well, uh, so watch. You, you got me. You got me covered, right? Good. All right. You step inside. 10, 15, as you look left and right, see more of these spools of wild that are hugged over 
in a moment, pylons, structures, bodies, constructs. Bodies of what? Construct bodies. Oh, construct bodies. That are just permanently wired into place. Hold on. Come back. Give me, give me the spray hose. Has anyone looked up? Spraying her off. She waters down everything. All right. Good. That's fine. I got it. Up. See a uh, apparatus above. Nothing seems to be connecting it to this area. Here. Okay. But there's also no like weird parent spider things up there. Yeah, as far as you can tell, no. What? Here we go. It's, it's a good it's thing. A fair question. It is a fair question. No it looks I'm not even looking up. I'm walking. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I can see this. It's all right. I got it. <laughs> as soon as you touch the gauntlet, the can <laughs> grabs you, and I need you to make a strength check, please. And I've got my axe in the other hand. Okay, yeah, make another strength, strength check. Strength check, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do strength check first. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't rage. Well, I wouldn't rage, but otherwise I'd have an advantage. Do you have a spook? I would like to be spooked. <laughs> Twenty two. Twenty two. DC twenty. You resist it from as, as it tries to pull you in to one of the uh, mounds of things. And you notice right away several of the mounds that uh and initially had a pathway straight to this thing. You two see the mounds. They shuffle in. They shuffle in and close off. As you see several of these uh uh scrap heaps start to lift up and start to form robotic bodies. They are definitely not humanoid in fashion, but have multiple legs and multiple torsos that lift up out of its body. <laughs> 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 you know, no... <laughs> One on the other side, two on the other side, and seem to be uh, slowly uh, moraning themselves, so, uh, moving themselves towards you. I am raging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess if I can. Do... You cast ah. up. Do you make sure you're away from these two? Oh, oh shit. I'm not gonna, do, I, do I have to trigger it? Oh, no, you don't have to trigger yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so yeah, you jump in. And I'll with your that. strength and overall, so yeah, with okay. triple that, you're basically jumping right behind him. I'm thinking, <laughs> if as, soon as, as soon as this calls him, Powered up. <laughs> and quite literally, as you leave the ground, a little bit of uh, arc of electricity, Where's the nearest one next to him? Uh, they have an approach, but they're in the mounds themselves, and he's got maybe ten feet before he's on top of them. Okay, and he's I'm dropping away. Do we have Ryan, a, do we have a map at all, or no? No. Okay. How far away are they from me? At most three feet. Okay. So uh, we can attack. Roll. First attack. He would be twenty-five feet away. He would be twenty feet away. Okay. Okay, I'm. Should have gone reckless, but I'm not. The first one I didn't do reckless. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 definitely hits. Roll your damage. Okay. We'll get to you in just a moment. Uh, oh, it's 1d12 plus. I'm raging, so. I'm going for that arm. Mm -hmm. So it's 18 points. 18 points. Be you gouge it once, but it does not release. <laughs> you have a second attack? This is really bad. I'm freaking out. Yeah. Um, 14 to hit. Are you going reckless? I didn't say it was. No, you didn't. But given the situation, do you? I mean, <laughs> as you still yeah. feel it trying to pull you into this fleshy like mound of metal uh, uh, Reckless 21? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, DM. <laughs> 21. And with the second strike, you pull and release, and you take off the entire upper, like, shoulder part of it. And that's when you land behind me. Crap. And something Good grabs job. you. Oh. <laughs> Just make, a gra make a grapple check. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got you. You got packs <laughs> longer, I can grab you. Oh, I know you can. And they're all strapped down really tight, too, so... <laughs> Grapple, but that's strength, right? Yes. And are you resisting? Because something just pounded behind you and grabbed it. Um, it's whether or not I noticed it was. Make a perception check. Yeah. You have a 
shy perception check, and things were just pulling in onto you. Um, eleven. Eleven. Um, Captain Mediocrity. <laughs> okay. Cake blowing. No, no, no. Wait. Cake wouldn't be blowing in the wind because he's mediocre. He's it's mediocre. It's so just it's hang, sort of... just hangs there. Yeah. So make a athletics check. Let As you try to jump with another 500 pound portal. That's better. That's a 22. Okay. 22. And you are mobile, so this allows you to actually succeed. Otherwise, you would have a problem. And, and then I think. Well, that, yes, I'm talking about movement in general. Right. Because jumping in DD, it still takes movement. Right. And you jumped 20 feet in. 20 feet out, but it triples my movement. And 20 feet out. For jumping, jump. no, that's not how it works in 5e. Jumping, even if you have triple jump, you can't jump more than you can move it. Uh, the card specifically says that I unlock for once movement. a day. Once per day, which yeah. I'm doing. You're doing that now? Oh. Because I'm not dealing with this shit. I used my movement to get in, and I'm exceeding my I will out. say, no, I will say that you just have enough movement to get back out. Okay. Because you jump 20 feet in and 20 feet out, which is 40 feet, which is your movement, right? Yep. So you would just have enough. Works for me. Okay, with a 22, you know this for sure. Yep, just literally. Mine! No! As, as soon as you're like, uh, do we need to deal with this? Suddenly, <laughs> another electro burst from this pa- uh, backpack that you have. <laughs> Pezzo coils shooting off into the distance, giving this arcane magical lightning thrust uh, uh, backwards with a giant portal that no one, and even yourself, has ever felt someone lifting you up like with ease. Kind of deal. And you land. Fly. outside of the actual platform as multiple and even the mounds that are actually have uh, moved in form up to these robotic spidery things with elongated instead of elongated this way it's elongated upwards as you turn around with pincher like maws and several eyes and uh, fire as you hear is this thing moving yes you did Infernal? And is this claw trying to do anything? Or as it comes towards and smashes its head in an invisible barrier as these blue lights flare. Oh. Hey, oh. Quite uh, translated. Oh. Come in favor. Switch. Nine. We have a wish for Mark. Yes. Uh, missed it by that much. The blue circles. Join. Looking at you, expecting uh, for they, they, they want our help getting out, fleeing. They want us to join them, and I don't think they mean for dinner. And I have a feeling of the things that join them. What's happening to this hand that I've got, or this arm? That... Remaining limp. Good. Because <laughs> I'm ready for it to go. <laughs> Still might be worth tossing in the gear. Just, if you're down. <laughs> Just yeah, a little it's funny, can, I, can, I, can I have that water thing again? Sure. Thank you. Shh. Oh, just the gauntlet. All, all, no, no, all over my legs and the ground, and I'm oh. like spraying <laughs> off what I've left behind off the edge. All right, sorry, I peed myself. Pardon. Um, um, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, pardon me. Wash the glove off. But the glove's not good. It's not. It's, it's not covered good. in oil and grease. All right, all right. Everything. Let's co- spray it off. Spray it off. And is there like things in it? Is it empty or is it just, or does it have like a. It had a hand in it, yeah. Ugh. Is it like an organic hand? Initially, no, but as you fish out more and more, you see it's bits of uh, flesh, rotten pieces of. Uh, I mean, got, got one of your feet. This has like gone way too far. Did you have, have your people ever done anything like this? Oh, I'm sure. What do you mean, my people? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> As you, there was four or five I, of them all watching that, on the purple of this gear that's slowly turning. They're turning towards people who know about wave. your science stuff. Well, it's likely actually it's rotating in place and it's turning clockwise, mm-hmm. and yours is turning counterclockwise. We just saw the white and big gear. Okay, it's so no, it's I coming towards that. us, but we're going away from it. Correct. Okay, that's fine. So how do, can we get past them, or rather, do we need to? Oh, you can go right past them. There's smaller gears that create a pathway to the center. These are the bigger gears them, that yeah. have stuff on them. Are you able to... Wait, are, are they saying this common? No. Ooh. What are they saying? Are you able to know what they're saying? Oh, yeah. They already 
translated it. I know, but uh, so why don't we go talk to them? If they can't come to us, we can maybe talk between. Okay, and based on what's going on, you learn something. Sure. No, that's brilliant. Based on what's going on, Jack Love, I can tell exactly what I thought was happening is happening. Right. So. But I don't think the glove is making no. them. So yeah, no, no, he's right. So walk over towards the the the, the edge of the blue, sh- like like keep out of our distance here. But as soon as you get within like ten feet or so, thing immediately you clear out of the way. They try to lunge and immediately hit that wall. As they, uh, as the uh, one of them immediately like, and walks away ten feet, their face okay. half exposed. I I my infernals with the glove. <laughs> 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 What? This thing's evil. He speaks. Oh, it's been forever. As they begin to talk one another, but yet. Yeah, what can you voice to we? We? You are not. Oh, I love you. I thought you was going to be here. My is so bad. <laughs> You're a friend of spy. We are not we. We are individuals. We are not these people. But we are abominations. <laughs> what? What you are? No, no, no. Hang on. What are you? There it is. We are I. Yes, yes. Roses is red, violets are blue, I'm a schizophrenic, and so on. So. <laughs> Do it. it looks a bit full. Looks like. I don't want to become part Why of Why do you speak to us? What do you want to know? They're, they're talking. I, I, what? Why do they want new friends? What? They're demons. <laughs> we <laughs> are demons. The devils? Devils. You're j- wait, wait, wait. So they're wait, trapped wait, here. Wait. Are they trapped? Wait a minute. Why are devils in here? Obviously they were trapped in here by the constructs because of those things. Yeah. I feel like the word obviously is being applied a lot here. I think they were contained. Yeah. Devils. But, but, I but think this they whole, were much this, more accurate. This whole uh, amorphous ingestion of, not quite the glove, of organics to further themselves, that's very modern. I don't think it's... Hmm. They're, they're converting them to machine. Does anyone uh, have a... Or we could a ask. Prestidigi thingy? Prestidigi? What are you talking about? To clean this. Completely. Just throw it away. It's no. full of dead hand and now no, you smell like it. No, it's it. not anymore. I'm just trying to look. You oh, more me smell like it. <laughs> Devils, where are, you, where, where are you home? No. Yes. Why would we answer? What else are you going to do, hand? Mm-hmm. What else you got to you're realistic. Oh, you're <laughs> at disadvantage. Was a lot to me. I have spoken infernal, so right. <laughs> Not like you have any dumb friends. You're you're close enough, but you're not a dumb. Why am I still rolling for persuasion? Shot in the dark, Sylvan. You guys, so I don't have to go through him. Okay, even at disadvantage, no. that's fine. Fourteen. Okay. No. Nope, There's a couple of chunks. Worth a shot. <laughs> The oh, Ask him why we we've want been by by our enemy being given another chance closer to the plane of home. Ah, oh, so they've been banished. You've been banished. Is what? Well, wait a minute. Sorry, you have to translate. I don't know what the hell they're saying. I don't know what the hell they're saying, and I can speak the language. Repeat the words. I'm going to repeat the words. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible accent. And all. <laughs> they, they, so, they, they, it's, they're from the seven, they're from seven, seventh home, seventh hell. Seven, seventh hell. Seventh, seventh level of seventh plane. Of it's hell. seventh home and hell. If it reads, it's Devils of nine, they're, they're from the seventh, and what's the next part? I actually don't remember. I'm too busy. They bound themselves <laughs> so that they can be closer the home plane. They they want to they did this to themselves to be Each. more like homey? Home like? They will I think they want home to try plane? and 
No, they want right. to make themselves look and feel. You want to make yourselves. What a minute. Do they. Do you understand common? Oh, what says look large? No, they don't. Please stop helping. Okay, so, <laughs> home plane. Do they. Are they looking. Do they define the home plane as where they're from or where they want to be? Oh, God, I have to concentrate on everything. Why did this have to be your shtick? <laughs> your shtick is so much better than it is. Why you home which house? There's a of... <laughs> Two of them walk away. There's one that's persistent. You defeated at the devils with Invasper. <laughs> We're going to speak our language. They're simpleton. We wish to be with all of the things we wish to play for our boys. Are. We wish to go to your home. We want your home. Oh, I get it. You want to shoot him? Closer to me. But they can't can't leave. I'm not allowed to respond until he shittily translates. (laughs) I'm dying. (laughs) You're taking psychic damage. (laughs) I really am. People call Romani's. They go to the house. Trent, I'm the bat. It's Admirate. It's so very what, effective. What, what did they say? They, they, they said that they want to become closer so that they can take over our home, and I assume they mean your home, and, and, and... Material plane. <laughs> mortals. They're after mortals. Uh, they'll, they'll stop right? Right. Yes, but that means that they bound themselves here because here is closer than the devil realm according to the planar transportation that they've been leveraging. Not all that for me. <laughs> oh, no, sweetie. You have very little to do with it. <laughs> so, they does Nick have like a nosebleed right now? <laughs> it looks like visible veins. Wait, 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 wait. I can do so much better. He speaks Infernal. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 you're right. We, we actually said, but no, yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. it's on the Mac. He gets languages. It's also on the Mac. Yeah, like he can't be whistled out of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, so, they bound themselves here, but it looks like they got captured or isolated. No, no, by... no. They bound themselves within this. They're it, What they're probably doing with the, the materials and stuff that they're playing with, they might be looking for hopes. So... Oh. Oh, don't put that on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was even less than me. Yeah. <laughs> In yeah, that case. Put that on. <laughs> Seriously, go <throw> away! <laughs> uh, it was a shiny thing inside a place where a bunch of devils are residing, but they literally found themselves. I will I trade you. Think I will trade you a cockroach lollipop for that. Here's an idea. Man, you that's identify tempting. Can that's we tempting, and you like lollipops. Uh-huh. Identify, please. Yes. Yes. I'm curious because this might have been Two. like someone who walked in here and said, Ooh, look, let me oh. cricket and cockroach. Hold on. Hand him that. Let's take you that. You take those. That and... Okay, so now I'm down two lollipops. How many licks? I hand it to her. I throw it in the gears. <laughs> <laughs> There's like sparks and everything flying out, a couple of broken gears. <laughs> no fair. You got a lollipop, you're fine. And then somebody has to come and reach us to uh, Apex. It's like, <laughs> and you hear it. You oh! <laughs> that was right. You were, you were right. You were right. You always got fucked. <laughs> you just won. <laughs> oh! Just, just like. I won, but that was first as fuck. Probably. <laughs> I probably had conscious in it or something. We've got enough things to talk to us. Yeah. <laughs> How many licks does it take to be pissed off? Two. Wait, 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 wait. More questions? That's some additional XP shit there. Demons are gonna be able to handle that. God damn it. 
Um, like, I mean, if we, if we break the circle, who knows what comes out? I mean, we just, can we just have to have to turn the power on. There's okay, a... okay, so mm-hmm. I'll turn on energy. There's a <laughs> white lizard with this demonic head that is made of several uh, breastplates of various different organisms that has a uh, glass eye, glass eye, glass eye, glass eye, glass eye. All of them roll. Yeah, and quite literally his head just does a 360. That's fire <laughs> comes out of the uh, various uh, connection points of this. Okay, I can't. Definitely should not be functional device. Okay, I can't handle this anymore, so I'm going to convert some spell slots into a second level spell. And then I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on one of them, so I don't have to go through him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so listening to the uh, the, the thing in, in his mind, it's still internal. Right. Uh, not even peering into its mind yet. Are you trying to probe? And I'm yes, with the the like the question that is going to be fed into its mind of okay. if you want to talk. I make more sense than him if you use your mind. Basically inviting it to fail. Make a persuasion check. Ooh. Ooh, clever lady. I have thought. Because it definitely that. fails its initial save as you just pierce through. I'm going to re-roll that. Just roll that that's, I rolled a 5 before and that's a 19. Because you Black have that natural ability of a sorcerer. It is such a good skill. <laughs> <laughs> and you cackle into its head, and then in oh, the head. Oh shit! I could have totally used my shadow fell shard and made it fail that anyway. It's fine, but I'm gonna go with this. The, okay. the persuasion. As you're technology. laughing in its head, and you hear it. <laughs> cool. So there's so a momentary as it breaks eye contact, or at least you think it breaks eye contact. It breaks eye contact. <laughs> so cool. Now the dark things are talking. Um what is your question. The dark things are doing dark things. It's completely much more easy to speak in the visualism inside its mind versus the robotic construct of a vocal cord outside. Right. I think it and I both simultaneously breathe a sigh of relief. And um so first question is did you find yourselves here looking for hosts? Who said that? What kind of host do you need? A fun guy. What if, theoretically, you could be given a host that would allow you... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I love it. Um, <laughs> that would allow us something of a symbiotic relationship. You grant more power, and I grant you access. And then I give a mental image of an L plant buddy. It seems to roll back as it takes a step back as they seem to collide with each other and seem to speak to each other for a half second. Mm-hmm. He says nothing, this individual that's been leading the charge. What? Something easy to detect thoughts. Do I get something of an inkling of interest or not? Make an insight check. Yeah. Because it, he hasn't said anything in, t- in his mind, but this is a dissecting what he's thinking. That's a natural 20. So, so that's going to be a 30. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> He's got one skill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I can lie and I can read mine. So this thing that likes to play and make people puppets crawl into their flesh and make them theirs. This thing is nothing but much, uh, much more than a toy to you. Um, as you're just read it, reading its mind, <coughs> this hundred and hundred and hundred year old thing, and you're able to read it like a child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is... They're really interested, but seem to be a little lackluster in terms of type of body. Um, it def- it, it, you get the sense that it's definitely wanting to be able to scratch things with its fingers. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know. <laughs> well, none of you know what's going on right now. <laughs> and, then, um, and then he comes back. I'm not gonna lie. 
It is enticing after thousands of years of nothing, with nothing but more of that slight chance of revolution. But a plant is... Well, it's a plant. So, image of plant breaking the con construct up against the wall. But a plant is so daft. It's stupid. And you will be in control. Possibly. Also potential for upgrade and betrayal if you come with. Oh, persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> upgrade and betrayal. <laughs> um, Is the tech bots able to do this kind of stuff, I guess? A basic translation of, yeah. Uh, and then I'm able to interpret language and thought, right? Yeah. You're able to interrogate, and because you're able to interrogate, we've kind of loosely translated as since I do a bunch of brain shit, yeah, yeah. I'm able to do that psychically. Cool. Maybe for um, people that only have that spell and a bunch of fireball spells, I would say mm, no. But since so you, it's, this it's like, speaking because, with, like it's I'm like, literally it's, broken if things don't have brains, like <laughs> it's, uh, I'm a, you know, yeah, yeah, it's well, it's like speaking with insight. Um, you know, you're using insight to speak. True. <laughs> 21. 21? You're munching the fuck out of brain fire. Oh. I like you. <laughs> I like you. Let me see the plan. You can have a demon pet now? <laughs> so I, uh, I'm, and this is the first thing you guys see of me moving since the focus, so, and pull out deer plant. <laughs> The blossom the head opens up full bloom mm -hmm. with the various tendrils inside that are ethereal dark purple. <laughs> Do I want to know where this is going? It'll help. The, the, the <laughs> detect thoughts are you sure? does end because it's only one minute. You know, same thing and same invitation. Like, I basically knock knock on his brain. For a second. Oh, okay. You cast another spell? Yeah, I cast it. Well, I'm going to convert two spell slot points, okay. sorcerer points, into a spell slot. Well, it's all, use... it all adds up, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, yes. Welcome back. So. <laughs> he turns towards the other monstrosities, these clockwork abominations, and you hear, <laughs> and they uh, uh, kind of growl back and forth as various conversations go on as they begin to back off. Take it out, basically. Pretty much, yeah. And one of the legs tap the floor in front of him. So. Contracts. Costs. Yes. <laughs> We're both big on promises here. Um, for this, for the ability to exit this plane, have host of a body, and retain the ability to betray me. Go on. Assistance in turning all this on so we can get the fuck out. And knowledge of your true name. <laughs> and you quite listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Good bargaining. She's evil. That's good bargaining. I don't know why you say I'm evil. She's on our side. <laughs> Go ahead, she's evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. I'm she's on our side. I'll keep the 21. 21? Yeah. Pretty good. Only half second goes by. As he's a fast thinker. Mm -hmm. Be sharp. Name shall come out when we're on the material plane. Betrayal cannot come before name. <laughs> Deal. As a mental like handshake goes on <laughs> in the side of the head. One of the uh, abomination comes up behind it and he immediately turns around. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't know what's going on. Yeah. 
Why is literally making a deal with the devil? She just got her. Hi. Got him to got it to agree to not betray us till it got to the material plane. Betray her. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> You're not there. Um, I know. <laughs> it's a devil. <laughs> betray her. Terms. <laughs> Not us. It's currently waiting for the plant to be placed inside the barrier. We don't know this shit. I step forward and set it in. What are you doing? Goes back and forth. What are you doing? Getting help. As the plant immediately. And you feel. And the uh, quite literally this calling her Obama. Oh. And some. Ah. And and to the plant. To the plant. Hey. Share. <laughs> <laughs> In Sylvan, only you understand it. Roll it in the handling check, all right? He is beginning a demonic. What are you talking about? Share. Re rolling that. Jesus. Much better. That's a 19. So that's a 20. <laughs> he is beginning a demonic chant, essentially. Mm-hmm. As he begins going back apart and rolling back and forth. What's going on? She said share. As this almost as the smell of brim smoke comes heavy in the air as dark, almost like uh, ashes, start to flow from the construct to the plant. More and more billowing and smoke, a little bit of uh, almost embers <laughs> into the plant more and more as the plant coils and turns and weaves as you start to hear the chanting in the back of the car. As all of them begin to chant and chant and chant. For a solid 10 minutes as passing. Backing up. And at the end of the 10 minutes, the clockwork mound falls apart. I got us help. Calm down. What? The plant collapsed on the floor. Yes. How did you do that? And several uh, 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 tendrils that are usually in the dirt of pot plant. Come up and almost like. <laughs> what the f- just fuck happened? I got yeah. us help. Without those things? Or the plan? Or the plan starts crawling. Where, Outside where? the barrier. That's it. Can it get out? Wait, next question. And it goes to the barrier, passes one tentacle, two tentacles, three tentacles. Onto your platform. You understand how contracts work. I understand. Contract? contract? Is that thing? I have a contract. We will not be harmed it, and it must help us out. Uh, it must help us leave. In exchange for what? Two tendrils. Oh, hell. Wait a minute. Those things are now inside the plant? A thing, calm down. You don't understand contracts. And I, like, gesture you over. Shit! What? No. Thank you! <laughs> With that, See, I'm we're gonna it. take a small break, everyone. I hope you enjoyed oh, that. Oh, my God. God, this is awesome. I like that. Holy. Wow. Wow. (laughs) We might not have gotten a massive fight with a steam golem. Oh, we did. Uh, Just really quick. It was really (laughs) quick. You know, it it was there, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was awesome. I like that. And uh, (laughs) (laughs) stories can't be made without terrible decisions. I love it. What, was it terrible or is it great? You know, it's it's both good and bad at the same time. Oh, fine. Someone's gonna die. So. <laughs> XO would have put that glove on. <laughs> took it from him. I'm glad I didn't give you the character sheet of that plan. Yeah, you would. <laughs> so, uh, would it that... have stopped me? 
I want you to really think about that. Would oh, yeah. it have stopped me? The plant? No, if you had given me the character no, sheet, I wouldn't have changed but any of this. You still don't know what the plant can do, so that, you know... Hmm. Anyway, so as you guys prepare to uh, venture forth to the power source of this area and be guided by your new pal, we will see you next time on another episode of Together and Roll. Till next time, keep healthy, keep safe, and keep on rolling, everyone. <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs>